Hi, I'm Molly from Wild Olive, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to wrap an embroidery hoop. Adding a simple wrap of twill tape will take inexpensive, not so great embroidery hoops and make them way more useful. Now, there are lots of different kinds of embroidery hoops. In this, we're specifically going to talk about wooden hoops. And generally speaking, the less expensive the hoop, the lower the quality. This is a pretty cheap embroidery hoop made of wood. This is a more expensive embroidery hoop made of wood. You can see how thick it is compared to the other one. Look at the difference in the hardware. And when you have a lower quality hoop, it doesn't always hold the fabric as tight, but that doesn't mean that you can't use it. First of all, you can use it just as it is, and I do that regularly, but adding an extra layer around the hoop will make it more secure. And this hoop already has binding uh, ribbon added to it, and it just makes all the difference. This feels like a high quality hoop simply because of this wrapping on the inner hoop. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first of all, you're gonna need your hoop. Then you're gonna need some cotton twill tape. This is three quarter inch wide and it's white, but you can get it in natural as well. And then you're gonna also need some thread and that's just to secure the end of the twill tape. And you'll need a sharp needle for sewing it together as well. So separate the hoops and you can set the outer hoop aside and then you're going to take the twill tape and we're going to wrap it around this at an angle and you want it to be about a 45 degree angle. You can tuck that end in under there. Once you start wrapping it will hold itself in place you just need to hold it to start with. And the part that is a little bit finicky is you have to take your bundle of twill tape to wrap it around. And you want a little bit of overlap. And when you get into the rhythm of this, you should end up with the tape sort of overlapping half of itself. By the way, if you wrap a smaller hoop, you will want narrower twill tape. It just goes a little easier that way. And as you wrap it, you want it to be nice and tight. So this is, this doesn't take a long time, but you don't want to rush it either. You want to make sure that you're getting each wrap tight and in place. So you can start to see how that is wrapping around. And I'm gonna continue this all the way around the hoop. All right, coming down to the end here. Um, by the way, this kind of twill tape, because of the way that it's woven, it has some bias stretch to it. And that's really helpful for wrapping this. So just bear that in mind when choosing something to wrap your hoop with. You can use ribbon or fabric, but this works really well. Okay, almost to the end. I'm going to overlap where this started, but not by much because we don't want to make it too thick in that area. Okay, so that'll be covered there. And now I'm going to just trim off the extra. Set that aside. So that'll wrap to there, and I'm gonna put this on the inside of the hoop so that it's not adding that, that thickness on the outside. And I went ahead and I threaded my needle with just sewing thread. Uh, it's doubled and I have a, a big knot in there. And I'm gonna go through the layers here. around the end. So this is going in through the wrapped portion and then out through the end, but not too close to the end because I don't want that to pull through or fray. 
I'm just going to do enough stitches to where it feels like it's going to hold secure. It's like, you know, probably need less than 10 stitches altogether. All right. I'll do one more for good measure. I have used my wrap tubes for years and never had this come undone before. So let's tie another knot here. Again, this is, you know, you're not making something that is for show. It's for use. I wouldn't frame a hoop uh, in one that has been wrapped. In fact, sometimes you will see the, the wrapping show through in the fabric a little bit. But it doesn't matter. It's just so that you can hold it while you're working. Okay, so there's the wrapped inner hoop. One thing you will notice, you have added bulk to this, and so it will make your hoop tighter. That's the goal, though, so don't be alarmed by that. So that's... Usually we'll have to open up the, the tightening screw almost to the end when you go to put fabric in there. Let's actually try this out with a piece of embroidery that I have on hand that is already finished. Lay that over the top of the bottom of the inner hoop. And then we're gonna press that down. Now we can tighten it up more. You can, you can kind of see there at the edge where the where it's wrapped, but this just keeps it from slip the fabric from slipping so much more than just a plain hoop, especially one of these thinner ones. It'll make your stitching so much easier. All wrapped up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. By the way, um, I used about a yard and a half of the twill tape to wrap this six inch hoop. So bear that in mind as you're buying supplies, but you might just wanna buy a bunch so that you can wrap all your hoops and have them be uh, ready, ready to stitch. All right, if you enjoyed this and you found it helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Tell me about how you like to use your hoops and I'll be back again soon with more stitching fun.